So a hybrid smart contract is basically redefining what we consider to be a smart contract. Before we might've considered a smart contract to be one contract about tokenization, and then might've moved on to being about one contract about tokenization and another about uh, DAO voting and another one about multi-sig security, another one about something else. What we're basically saying is that the more advanced smart contracts are actually a composition of both on-chain code in uh, running in a blockchain or even multiple blockchains and off-chain uh, trust minimized code running in a decentralized Oracle network. A decentralized Oracle network is basically a committee of nodes that comes to consensus about um, various computations, but does not have a blockchain, right? It does not generate a blockchain. It simply generates consensus about certain key um, inputs or computations that don't need a blockchain, but do need to be given to a blockchain in order for a smart contract to do something useful. Generally speaking, the way this um, architecture is evolving is, is once again, just like initially maybe the, the entire conception of a smart contract might've been one smart contract, and then it moved on to two smart contracts interacting with each other, maybe about tokenization and voting. And then DeFi expanded it to you know, those two contracts relying on a data feed about off-chain data. Now what we're seeing is uh, both an expansion in the amount of contracts on chain as individual services that need to interoperate with each other to be composed into more and more advanced applications and um, a greater amount of off-chain services, um, whether that's the provision of data, whether that's the provision of computation, um, or whether that's the provision of random numbers, cross-chain, um, any number of other um, key services.